good morning everyone so today i am going to present a case of stereoscopic adesolysis in uh, a case of uh, secondary amenorrhea with primary infertility who was diagnosed uh, to have some calcific foci in the endometrium so there was a suspicion of uh, denatal tuberculosis so we start our adesolysis with a standard uh, step that is the uh, internal loss that I'm opening with my scissor. So the standard movement of my scissor has already been explained in my previous videos, where I open the scissor vertically, and then I make these adhesion bands thin, and then I cut horizontally. Okay, so that is my standard movement. Second thing, I always tend to go towards the lateral wall. Now here you can see I am going more towards the left lateral wall. So that is my landmark because I can identify all these adhesions easily and I can differentiate the tissue texture in between the lateral wall which is natural and normal tissue and the adhesions. So I'm doing I'm dissecting towards the lateral, staying towards the lateral wall, and I open the planes, and then I cut. So here, I have almost reached towards the lateral most wall, and almost at the level of ostia, because the plane, the tissue, everything is different over here. So my dissection is almost complete towards the left lateral wall. And here you can see I'm cutting near the fundus and again I can identify the normal tissue at this level so I stop okay so I don't dig more over here because I want to finish my uh, uh, dissection towards both walls right little and left little and then I dissect at the level of fundus in the end so my after completion of dissection towards left little wall I'm going towards the right little wall. Now here, these are small, small adhesion bands which are cut. Now my light cable of the scope goes towards the right side and my scissor comes from the left side. So I'm holding the scope with my right hand and now I'm holding the scissor with my left hand, all right? Now, because I already opened up the cavity, so I know the boundaries, the anterior wall and the posterior wall, so here, I cut right in the center and I go again staying along the lateral wall all right so that immediately I can identify when I'm digging in the normal tissue so here you can see I could open up the ostia over here so I'm going along the lateral wall here small small snips you can see here so that I can easily identify if at all I'm digging in the normal tissue that I really don't want to do then I'm going up and there I could see the ostia here I open up with my scissor and then I cut and the moment I cut I can see the ostia all right now here you can see the ostia is not very healthy because the endometrium on top of it is totally pale the normal vascular pattern of the ostia where all the vessels are going in the ostia is also lost in this case so I'm really not very very happy with the finding so after identification of the ostia towards the right side now i start dissecting towards the fundus so again you can see the cuts are very small one thing you can notice is my scissor always stays one to two centimeter distance from the scope i usually don't push the scissor way too much in so that i don't i lose control so my scissor is always like one to two centimeter and I move my scope. I come out, I have a look and then I come back in with the scissor, the entire scope assembly goes in and cut. Okay, so that gives me a better control on my scissor and uh, the incision, the cuts that I make, they are actually very fine and very, very small. Now here you can see after giving a few cuts on the uh, fundus, we can see the underlying normal tissue, the normal pattern of the fundus and posteriorly i could identify the entire tissue is basically cages necrosis so it was clear cut case of tuberculosis here we can see this is a cages necrosis now i want to excise this entire 
cages necrosis so what i'm doing i have made my caesar horizontal and i'm shaving it off from the underlying normal tissue so here you can see again my scope comes out i have a zoomed in picture zoomed out picture then i go back in with the entire assembly and my caesar is not moving much in and out so i'm having a better control so here you can see what i'm doing i am excising the tissue i am separating it from the normal underlying tissue and here you can see i am cutting it and the entire cages tissue is going up in the cavity and the underlying normal tissue is looking fine so gradually with small small cuts the entire tissue is excised and once this entire tissue is excised we remove it with the help of the grasper or you can do a gentle curatage because endometrium is already lost in this case so we really don't want to be very vigorous in these kind of cases so i don't I really don't want to lose any kind of endometrium now here you can see this is almost the final part and this entire cages tissue that you can see on the left side is removed from the underlying normal tissue and uh, we continue with our dissection <clears throat> as you can see now here we have reached almost the level of ostia this is the level of fundus where the remaining part of the cages tissue is removed and this entire tissue is free now after this cages tissue is free we put our grasper in and we remove the entire tissue out now this is after the removal of the cages necrosis now we are having in close inspection of the cavity now we can see some endometrium over there and we just really want to rule out any uh, other underlying tissue which is left behind now here we can see the ostia we can see some endometrium over there and we are going towards the opposite side this is another ostia that we can see so here on the right lateral side here here we i could identify some tissue was still left so i rubbed it with the help of the scope and i could identify a fiber over there so once the fiber was identified i removed it with the help of caesar followed by the sectoscope the only superficial part was cut the deeper part was enucleated with the help of the scope and this is the final picture after the surgery with a nice cavity so obviously i will put a foley's in for one week patient will be on estrogen and we will post her for relook hysteroscopy after two months so this is the final picture that we can see so thank you so much i hope you enjoy this video